and I'm going to start working on this snowman that I showed in the earlier video about painting. You can see he's got a, he's been repainted and they did a crappy job. Anyway, I showed you this, these strips of, I don't know what this is, glued on here and there were a bunch of them across here that I've already taken off. Not sure what that is, but luckily it comes off just by heating it. So I'm going to show you how I take some of this off, then I'll pause it, and then I'll start welding some of these cracks. We've cracked here, here, damage here that I showed you, and then whatever is under here, and then cracks all around this big hole. That'll probably be on a separate video. But anyway, I've got the old trusty hair dryer. And you just turn it on high and heat it up and it'll peel right off. So here we go. There's another piece under that piece. And you just gently kind of pound it a little bit as you heat it, and it will come right off. And hopefully, not doing any damage. I can tell there's a big crack right there. Okay, nice big crack. It looks like just some kind of glue right there. I'm going to take this one off and then I'll pause the video and take the rest of it off. Yeah, he's got a nice... He's got a nice big crack. See it from starting right here. Running all the way up to here and then across to this other piece. <laughs> And another crack coming down, I assume, underneath all of there. Looks like it comes down to about here. So this will be fun. This will be a, doing it for free. Because there's definitely not going to be any value left on this guy. Even once he's fixed. But I can keep him out of the landfill for a while. Maybe somebody... They can't afford to pay a hundred dollars for a undamaged one we'll use them and get some joy out of it so i'm gonna pause the video while i take the rest of these off and then we'll see what we got after that okay i got the rest of it off and just as i feared this these pieces were covering this crack that goes from all the way up there where it, it, it is scarf all the way down to right in here. It looks like he's still got some kind of hot glue or something on him. I have to get the rest of that off. And he's got some other kind of glue on here. Yeah, this guy, when you consider he's got this damage. His backside, well, he's got one little crack right here. Got cracks here, long crack there, crack there, several little hairline cracks across here, across here. The long one going up and over. This one coming all the way down. Got cracks here. Got a little hairline crack right there. Got cracks right here. Something, something hit him right there and kind of exploded because they all go out. 
from there. I wouldn't be surprised if they had rocks or bricks or something inside of it. And they bounced around when they were moving it. So I'm going to get my solder and iron and plug it in. And go to work on them a little bit. See, the tip gets dark when it's cooling off. I just take some coarse sandpaper and clean it off a little bit till it's nice and shiny. If you don't, sometimes when you're working on white areas, it will leave some black little specks on it. On this guy, black specks are the least of his worries, but I want it to look as good as we can. I still don't know what the heck that is, what it's off of. I guess it kept it from cracking any worse, though, so that's a good thing. I think I'm going to start with this crack right here. It looks like the worst of the little ones. These other ones, I will probably just epoxy them on the outside and the inside. And, uh, leave them alone other than that this hole right here I'm gonna kind of work some of the plastic around a little bit and then I will take a piece of milk jug pull it up against it from the inside and uh, tie it to something to keep it tight Epoxy the crap out of it and let that cure. But right now I'm going to kind of see what I can do with this crack. I'll just take the very tip of it and kind of go across across the crack. And then go back and take the side of the tip and you can kind of smooth it. Now when you're doing that, be very careful that the edge of this ouch, big part doesn't touch the plastic over here because it will it will melt it real fast. You can kind of see some of the specs I was talking about the plastic gets sticks to that tip and after a few seconds it kind of burns and turns black just kind of smooth that part out a little bit Sometimes after you weld it, if it's brown like that, you can go over it with some sandpaper and it will get some of that off and not mess up the plastic too much. Just keep your piece of sandpaper handy because you'll, you'll have to clean the tip off regularly. You can just kind of pull the tip down the crack and it melts both sides and they, they stick together. And then all you have to do is smooth it out. Good thing is the snowman is textured anyway, so he doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. It's not really going to be that noticeable. If 
back, the smoother you get, the more noticeable that strip is. So you can take the, the tip and kind of make little marks on it. That way it won't be quite as noticeable on this one. And that takes care of that crack. And I'll show you what I mean. This is coarse sandpaper. Just kind of bend it over your fingers. Got a little bit of it off, but not all of it. It doesn't look too bad, considering. And the best thing is, it won't crack right there again. Not unless it gets a serious impact. That crack's not all the blue. This part of it is all the way through. So I'm going to weld this crack down to about here. There's other ones I'm not going to fool with welding because they are they don't look like they're all the way through. Don't leave the tip on the plastic for more than just like a second at the most. Not even a second. Because it will burn a hole clear through it real fast. You can see how, how quick that plastic turns to liquid. Hard to tell where that crack is. I think I got all of it. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit and then make some little indentions on there so that it looks kind of textured like the rest of it. It's kind of mostly smooth, so I'm just going to take the tip and just kind of go back and forth across it at different angles, different directions. You say, well, why are you, why did you smooth it out if you're going to do that? Well, because it looked like he'd been sewn up by a doctor otherwise, like he had stitches or something. This way it just looks random, so for somebody not who doesn't know, they probably wouldn't even realize that that had been fixed. Probably wouldn't even notice. But there you go. Now these big ones, I'm going to have to heat this piece right here. There's some more glue I'm going to have to get off. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and get the rest of this, all this glue off, 
And I'm going to heat this one and see if I can get it to curve back out. And get this to kind of curve back in a little bit. And then I'll uh, see about welding these pieces together some kind of way. And then I'll take care of these other cracks around the outside of this hole before I attack with a big hole. Oop. The cord got over against the big part right there. Let's see what it did just in about a second. Got a little bit right there. But there's no wire showing, so it's okay. Just have to always be aware of where that tip is. Because it will get you. And it will go through your skin like butter. Don't ask me how I know. But anyway, if you learned something from the video you, or you like it, click the like button down, it, down below. You can subscribe to the channel and get notified when I make a new video and post it. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, I'm all ears. So thanks for watching.